teachers who matched with one of their students on Tinder. What's your story? I unmatched with them as soon as I realized who it was. We still had a month left in the semester. And she never brought it up. I teach in higher ed. So it's legal. But definitely not worth the headaches and professional fallout it could potentially cause. My roommate unknowingly matched with a guy who had just graduated from the school where I taught. It was a kind of funny passing comment of oh. I matched with a guy who graduated from X school. We both assumed that it wouldn't be one of my students because I taught sophomores for the most part and this kid was a graduated senior. So we figured it was a funny coincidence rather than weird. She invited him over to our place to hang out. He walked in and introduced himself before he and my roommate went to hang out in her room and watch a movie. I had to text my roommate that the kid had obviously lied about something because A. He was current senior. Not a graduated one. And B. I'd had him as a student in my newspaper class. Turned out he lied about his age, said he was 19, and pretended that he didn't know me despite the fact he had class with me. Nice kid. But he never got invited around again. I matched with one of my online professors last semester. He has a unique name and once I realized who he was I unmatched. Even if it's legal. And at our ages. It would be. It's still a small town and I didn't want to bring the drama on us. I once drunk splurged on Tinder gold. Or whatever the FCK it's called. And noticed my current intern had swiped right on me. Yeah. I had to ignore that one for a while. All the while keeping that secret for the rest of semester. I unmatched us as soon as the notification came in and realized who it was. I'm a resident and I've matched with a few medical students. But so far none of them have been under me in their rotations. Are we still doing phrasing? Oh damn. This just happened to a regular at my local. We are there having drinks. As we often do. And he starts telling me that he matched with his 8th grade English teacher. Who was 24 when he was 13. Not a crazy age difference. So they chatted and laughed about the coincidence and how weird it was. But they ended up talking 4 hours about life. How they are both divorced. Decided what the hell and agreed to meet. At our bar. That night. She was there like an hour later. She seemed super fun and looked great for 46. They sat next to me and my wife and we all had fun talking but then they moved to a booth to be alone. 90 minutes and good amount of shots later. They are kissing in the booth. About 10 minutes later. They are paying their tab and ordering a car to the nearest bedroom. It's been about 3 weeks and they are still hanging out. They really like each other. It's kinda creepy but sweet. He seems happier than usual. Way. Way before Tinder. We had a HS teacher. An older. Way older male who taught math. Have an affair with a female student. She was a senior that turned 18 at the end of the school year but they had been together over a year. He and his wife divorced. And he married the 18 year old. He was allowed to keep teaching and when she graduated college she was hired as a teacher in the same school in his department. Of course this was in the late 1970s and I graduated in 1982. But I had them both as teachers. I matched with a teacher when I was 27 and she was 76. She said I knew you'd make it at least this far then unmatched me. Edit. This blew up and for anyone wondering I found out it was a prank that my friend and my brother was pulling on me. And most of you are right. My brother changed my age range which I didn't know was possible, to only 55 plus and they made an account the teacher account. Hold up. 76. You have your age range open that wide? This story comes from pre-Tinder days. But I'm the product of a student and her second year maths lecturer. Student and lecturer ended up getting married. Starting a family and growing old together. But there was some serious fallout. Lecturer's supervisor decided student was a harlot and tried to manipulate the entire maths department into flunking her. When nobody would comply. He kept trying until the day she had to call in sick for her final honors exam. She verbally told supervisor she was in hospital and unable to attend. 
Supervisor said it was fine and she could make it up when she was well. The next week she rocked up. Ready to take the exam. Only to be told she'd flunked and there was no second chance to sit the exam. He denied all knowledge of the conversation. Students still manage second class honors. Despite all this. Not me. But one of the teachers at the high school I work at matched with one of his students on Grinder. The kid was 16. Teacher came and told us, the school counselors. And we had to sit the kid down and have a conversation about the dangers of lying about his age to have random hookups with older men. He said he had been doing it a while and appreciated that we were concerned about him. He said he did not plan on stopping. But he was obviously not trying to hook up with anyone from the school. The teacher felt so awkward having the kid in his class the rest of the year. I think he maybe wanted to try and mentor the kid a bit to help him stay safe in the cruising scene. But that could get ugly really fast if the parents found out. He graduated and went to uni. So hopefully he is doing okay still. Penthouse letters from my youth. I thought all these letters were scripted lies. Until it happened to me. Just so I'm sure I'm reading these stories correctly. Swipe right equals keep swipe left equals toss. Both swipe right equals match one or both swipe left equals no match. I went on a date a couple weeks ago with a former student. I was an adjunct prof and she was in my class. I thought she was cute and I had a suspicion she was queer too but obviously wasn't going to do anything while I was teaching. When she came up on Tinder, I'm no longer teaching university, I swiped right and we matched. She is only a couple years younger than me though and the class was a couple years ago. We're hopefully going out again soon and we'll see what happens. When I read this title. My brain played the SVU dun dun noise at the end. Not in Tinder. But I downloaded Grinder and set up an account. When I first activated it. I didn't have any age restrictions set up. All of a sudden. I see one of my students. Semicolon. I teach middle school. He was in 8th grade. Semicolon. I called the principal and counselor and made them deal with it. I'm all for keeping kids safe but that little Fka was lying about his age, probably could pass for an 18 year old twink, and some moron would have, or probably had, slept with him. Don't want to come out to your parents? Too bad. Don't advertise your 14 year old body on a dating app. Didn't match. But I saw one of my students on Tinder, saying they were 20 when they most definitely were not. I informed the parents that I'd received an anonymous tip that either they were on Tinder or someone was using their photos. Not the story most people are looking for here I'm sure. But the right thing to do. Nice try. ETA. Awkward at first. But once I got over the fact I was homeschooled. We went back to our place for extra credit. I teach university. A year or so after the end of the class she took under me she pops up and laughed. I thought there'd be no way she yesed me so I swiped right for giggles. Instant match. I couldn't believe it. Turns out she wanted to hook up the whole time but didn't want to open that can of worms. Do we went on a date. And she was by far the worst FCK of my life. Animal in bed. Oh yeah. Starfish. You guys are getting matches? In my district. One of the teachers revealed to his students that he was on Tinder. The students made up a profile. Catfished him. And made him believe he was talking to another adult. Then he sent them dick pics which they showed to everyone. Technically. The teacher did nothing wrong because he thought he was communicating with another adult. He is still teaching but I'm not sure how that works when all of your students have seen your dick. We homeschool so my wife says it's never been an experience. Much less a problem. But one of her students father keeps trying to sleep with her and it's getting irksome. You read about them in the newspaper later probably. As someone who is actively on Tinder. And who works in high schools. It's frightening how often you'll see someone's profile with the age set at mid 20s. But the first line of the profile is actually 16 or something. 
I have my age filters set to 25-37 students in high school will set their birth date to something wrong to get around that because there's so many, mostly ugly, girls who want a sugar daddy and are not afraid to put that in writing. As mentioned above with the first line of profile text. The second line is usually looking for something really sweet or similar. Then finally. 16 photos of bikinis and lingerie. I report every one of them. And if I'm at a school and see the student. I report them to student services the main office. Oh. Not my teacher. But I matched with a middle school teacher when I was 18. He was hot and about 28. I quickly find out he's dominant. Score. Now we are really talking. He confides in me his favorite kink. School girl. What? The. FCK. Immediate unmatch. She got an A. Then the D. I didn't match with a school teacher but I did match with a Sunday school instructor. I was 12 and she was in her early 20s when I attended church. I better not find any home school teachers in here. A story I heard from a friend was about a guy just starting his first year teaching out of college. He was in a high school math class or something like that. His first day teaching he walked into class and saw the girl he had been casually seeing all summer. They had met at a college party. Gone on multiple dates. And hooked up occasionally. She had a fake ID and pretended that she was a college student. Extra credit opportunity intensifies. Not exactly a Tinder story. But once me and colleague from work went to high school that was local to our area to pitch a sale to the dean so we can become their paper supplier and when walking through one of the halls my colleague spotted his gf and asks what she was doing here at first I thought he was referring to one of the teachers in the hall but then he said no. OMG are you Andy? We talk about you all the time at Yogurtland. 9 stroke 10 would do it again. In 9-10. I remember when they made an attempt to cull the thinly disguised help me jerk off posts on this sub. Seems like it's worse than it ever was now. Well. I'm in prison now. So yeah.